good YouTube, Nate Mass Collector. Um, back with a DeLorean, build a DeLorean time machine. Uh, issue number 19 from Eagle Moss. <clears throat> um, haven't done one of these in a while, but um, figured I'd start back in it again. Nice to take a little break once in a while. So, issue number 19, uh, your car parts, this issue, more parts for the engine, for your DeLorean, including the air pipes, water pump, and hoses, engine top, auxiliary air pipe, pipe, water pump, water hoses, water distribution pipes, and we got three AP screws and four AM screws. All right, let's kind of go through here quick, see what we got to do. And step one, fasten the water pump to the water hose. Push that into that. Put some screws into there to hold it in place. Got a few more screws there. One more there and a pipe. And then it should be done. So it doesn't look like too much trouble here. Just a few different spots. But we'll, uh, we'll get going. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Hit the uh, like button if you enjoyed the video. And also hit the bell for notifications when I put out new videos. Um, I always put stuff in a playlist, so if you're watching the, my channel specifically for the uh, DeLorean builds, um, there's a playlist you can just go click on and it'll have all, every episode in there for you to find, instead of having to go through all the different videos. Yeah, I was waiting on some mods. Um, I got some Mike Lane parts. Oh look at that, they give you a give you a set of tweezers in this issue. I already have some that I got with my other tool kit that I bought separately, but it's nice they included that for you. Uh, let's see here. So here's our engine part right here. Alright, so First things first, this part, this part, and an AP screw. Usually what I do first is I'm gonna put AM and AP screws in their pill box. Anyways, what I got from Mike Lane was the carpeting for the bonnet and also for the inside of the car. So the floorboards and the uh, headliner and all that stuff. Looks really, really good. Looking forward to putting that stuff in there when I get to that point. Okay. So right here, Put this piece together, fasten the water pump, 19E to the water hoses, 19D with an AP screw. So we got this, that, and this goes like this onto there, and an AP, and again, P is for plastic. I don't know how tight it's supposed to be. I always get worried about tightening too much on these little plastic parts. Okay, now it's gonna get fit into 
push the ends of the hoses into part 19A. So I'll look for those little parts. So it's gonna go on the front here. Note that the hose on the left-hand side has a tab on it to ensure the correct orientation of the part. So here's the tab. It's in there, I guess. Step B, turn it upside down and put two AP screws into there. I think what um, kind of drew me away from this build for a little while, um, one, the holidays, I kind of just got busy with stuff and two I don't really have a good setup yet for for this it's starting to get to a point where I need more room to have it kind of in its place long term working on that and um, I also started I weathered part of the engine and and it looks good but man, it just kind of takes some time and patience to do it because it, you don't just put it on one coat type of thing. It's a kind of a buildup. I did a video on it where I did this part, but um, I did the rest now, the outside. And it looks good, you know, it looks like it's just kind of worn in a little bit. It's not super grungy or anything, but at least it's got some depth and like looks like it's got some use on it already type of thing so but that just takes time and everything and it's kind of lost track of stuff for a while but okay so here we go now flip it over and we're gonna do attach the water distribution pipes 19f to 19a with three am screws So this sticks into this hole right in there, like this. Just fit that in there, and then you'll see these holes line up um, right there, and right there, and right there for these screws. Again, don't force it, take your time. Now, this is an AM screw. Um, I didn't, I don't have, I have oil, but I didn't put any on here, but these went in really, this one went in really, really, really easy. So maybe it's a lot easier to do when you're going, you know, if it's not going from a metal part into another metal part, but just. Did I speak too soon, probably. auxiliary air pipe in a position as shown on 1980 using an AM screw. So that's there. That's this part right there. And that's this. So that's going to go like that. Another AM screw. Good. 
that. Um, then we got step two of that, which is fit the pipe into position on piece 19B with two AM screws. What? Oh, I see. Assuming that the instructions are not correct. Because why would you, there's no way to put, it's pretty much just sticks right on there. Like that. And that's it. So I don't. Four AM screws, three AP screws. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so this is obviously not the right, this is not the right um, instruction. So I think it's just they fixed a pipe in the position on this piece. I don't think it has to have any screws, obviously, but so that's that. I'm wondering if that needs to get glued on at some point or not, but that's issue number 19 right there so i'll probably just go over it with the the weathering stuff because this is going to end up sitting on there like that um, i'll hit it with the weathering brush after we get it all put together here if it's hidden i don't want to have to put extra time into it so well kind of stuck on there so that's cool all right. Well, thanks a lot for joining me on this episode. Um, let's see what we got here in the magazine. Quick, if you're curious. To the dance. Oh, that house. So next issue is the intake manifolds. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Make sure to subscribe. Catch the next videos that they come out. Hit that bell. And then uh, like the video, comment if you guys got any questions about anything or suggestions about anything as well. So thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.